up guys, it's me Eric B and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, I'm doing something a little bit different. I typically do the motorcycle thing, reviews, gear, things like that. But we have a go-kart here by Polaris. So this is the Hammerhead Mudhead 208R. I actually got this for uh, my son for Christmas and I just want to do a quick overview on some of the features that it has and then we'll go out, do a first ride and, and see how it performs. But before we do that as always, let's cut to the B-roll. All right, so here we go, the Mudhead 208R, and the 208R stands for the CCs that is on this motor. So it does boast a 208 CC motor with six and a half horsepower. So this thing does have enough power if you guys are worried about, you know, it having enough, enough juice, oh, it'll get up and move. So this thing should be able to get up to about 35 miles an hour um, is, is what I kind of read up on. And it depends on the, the weight of the rider and everything like that. So um, the max capacity of this go-kart is about 250 pounds. And it says it's supposed to be for 10 years old and, uh, and up. But my son is seven and he's already driven this thing and he drives it like a pro. So <laughs> when we go out and, uh, and test it out and see, you guys, you guys will see. Um, so if you are wanting to get something like this for your uh, child, I think um, they will be okay, and also this uh, this seat is adjustable, so we'll get that we'll get to that in just a second. Um, but I kind of want to finish talking about the engine here. Um, so it is a four-stroke motor. Um, it does have an automatic CVT um, clutch and everything, so it does have uh, forward and reverse. So right here, you do get a little knob there you can put it in neutral you can put it in forward and you do have reverse and there's your uh brake and gas and everything so the throttle is adjustable if you can see it right there there's a little knob on the gas pedal right there that you can uh, adjust in and out so you know if you got a, a newer rider you want to tone it down a bit so they're not going so fast you can do that and then you know once they get the hang of it you can go on ahead and tune it up a little bit more so they can get up and, and get moving but uh yeah that's pretty much uh everything with the motor it is chain driven and also the brakes so it does have one brake in the back which is pretty good there's no brakes in the front so you only get the one in the rear so other than that man that is uh that's it on the motor and the gas tank sits right on the top right there uh we filled it up went out riding for about an hour or so and uh didn't have any issues with running out of gas or anything um so we'll we'll do some more testing on that and uh moving forward uh this does have an electric start so your starter sits right on the top right there and just so you guys are, are tracking you would fill up the oil right there and then the oil dipstick is right in the back um it's kind of hard to see right there if you can see it so um checking the oil is pretty simple it uses 10w30 oil and you this goes off of hours not miles i don't have a counter on it but you just got to kind of keep track of uh the hours that you ride this thing because i want to say the first 20 hours you want to go ahead and change the oil out this also does have a battery as you can see right there because this does have an electric start so you can start it right there just flip it on start it and it'll start right up now if your battery happens to die for whatever reason you can go on ahead and use the pull start. So if you get out there, your battery's dead, you can't start it, you can just pull start this bad boy and uh, be on your way. All right, one thing I wanted to mention is there is a choke located right underneath the driver's seat there. And I have to use it every single time I start this thing up, but um, it's not a huge deal. She fires right up every single time, no problem. But just pull that out right there just a little bit. Go ahead and turn it on. Fires right up. Go ahead and push it back in. And then we're good to go. And then you got a little lever here for the throttle if you want to give it some gas too. 
so sounds good. And then you got your switch there, so not bad, not bad at all. All right, so now that we covered some of the, the engine performance and everything, this does have a uh, rack and pinion steering. It does have some uh, A-arm, I think it's a double A-arm set up here. You got the suspension, nice springs, not too bad. It's very uh, stiff, but that's uh, how most of your go-karts are. You got that in the front, and then you do have some nice springs in the back. Now, it is not a uh, independent suspension, if you will, so it doesn't articulate uh, very well. So this is all on one piece, um, and then the front is obviously uh, independent. But nice roll cage design there and all that, so that's pretty nice. You do get some LED lights in the front, and then you do get a nice horn, and I'll show you guys what that sounds like, man. It literally sounds like a car horn. It's pretty loud. And then you do get some nice bucket seats here, which I really like compared to some of the other go-karts because they use like a bench seat. But this front seat right here is adjustable. So my son gets in it, he's just a little bit too short to reach the pedals. So it does like a car, has a little lever under here, and you can scoot the seat forward. So that's really nice. And then you do get a three-point harness or seat belt on both sides. You know what I'm saying? So uh, safety first. <laughs> All right, and then like I said before, your switches and everything, you get your, um, your key for your start. You turn this up to start it, so it's like a kill switch. So you have a kill switch plus the key. You have the horn and then the switch for your lights. So I'll go ahead and uh, flip this up, turn that on, let you hear the horn pretty loud and then here's the lights they're not the brightest but if you can see them they're not too bad at least you can be seen a little bit so there's that and uh, let's see I want to see what else am I missing here you do get the uh, the mud guards here not too bad it just sucks if you get, end up getting in really thick mud mud will accumulate all up in there, all on the side of the uh, the spring and everything, and the front wheels will get stuck and won't move. So <laughs> just be aware if you plan on going in any super thick mud. All right, so the tires, man, these are some really nice beefy tires on here. As you can see, I wanna say they're like 16 by sevens in the rear. Um, not too bad. Just be careful if you're gonna be riding this on uh, the pavement or anything, they will wear out pretty fast. So. I'd keep it like on the grass and the dirt and things like that. And this uh, this body does come in different colors. So we ended up getting the uh, gray, as you can see right here. That's all they had left at the place when we went to go get it. Um, they did have an orange one. I think it comes in green and red as well. All right, so the dry weight on this is 325 pounds. Um, pretty light, not too heavy. I can pick this thing up, um, up on its side um, if you need to push it over. Or if you need to even move it around, like say you get out and you're riding it and you need to just, you know, kind of move it around a little bit. If you're strong enough to do that, you definitely can do it. And then it does come with a, uh, a little canopy that you can strap up on top there, keep the sun out, things like that. And then you get the little flag. So that's pretty cool. And then it does come with some instructions and, and things like that. But yeah, I think I pretty much covered everything um, that this comes with. I can't remember if I mentioned it, this does have um, six and a half horsepower, um, but that's about it. All right, so if you're looking to pick one of these up and you're trying to figure out where do you get it from, I got mine at a power sport dealership that sells side-by-sides, four-wheelers, motorcycles, things like that, and they just so happen to sell go-karts. You may wanna check your local uh, power sport dealership, see if they do as well, um, but sometimes they're kinda hard to find because a lot of places, don't have them and you have to find like a shop that just sells you know go-karts and and things to that nature so um yeah definitely check it out you can go on their website as well and uh and see you know where they sell them and if you're wondering about the price so th this one is kind of expensive it does run about two thousand dollars um give or take so um just depending on where you're at maybe a little bit more maybe a little bit less let me show you what my son looks like in it and then what i look like in it just so you can have an idea of uh of how a person would fit inside this thing so let me do that real quick for you all right so we got owen here he's getting inside so he's uh he's pretty tall for a seven year old he's about i don't know what four and a half feet or so maybe a little bit taller <laughs> i don't know but he's got long legs as you can see 
I have the seat scoot forward and he can touch the pedals. So, and he can pretty much see over the top. So not too bad, not too bad. So now let's see, I'll, I'll show you what I look like with it. All right, so I am 6'1", and as you can see, <laughs> it's not, I mean, I fit in here, it's not bad. So if you wanna ride with your kid, you definitely can, um, it's pretty fun. All right, so there you have it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get this bad boy out in the field, let Owen ride it, and I'll let you guys see how it performs. So let's get to it. All right, so we made it out here, we're at a little construction site. I'm gonna take it to uh, ATV off-road area here eventually, but right now just to test out how it how it rides and everything. This is where we're at, and it is super muddy. Um, so, what do you think, Owen? Is it gonna be awesome? <laughs> I <laughs> like it. You like it? Mm -hmm. All right. We just so, got this yesterday. so I got the uh, Insta360 set up so we can get some cool shots and everything on here. But uh, without further ado, let's see how she performs. that lower for him so he's probably going maybe 15 picking up mud everywhere <laughs> Alright bud, go ahead and turn it off. Turn it off. Alright bud, what do you think? Good. It was good? Yeah, <laughs> that was so awesome. I know they're so muddy. But alright guys, so as you can see, this thing is a blast. I don't know how well it came across on the camera, but I know he had fun. Um, it's just, man, it was way too muddy to do this today, but that's alright. Um, but other than that, man, I am thoroughly impressed with this right now, so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll have some more videos coming on this hopefully uh pretty soon but uh we'll see you guys in the next one peace peace <laughs>